Mr. O'Mara here. I just want to give you a quick rundown of how a really interesting tool called Google Ngram Viewer works. Google has scanned a massive number of books, as you will have been watching a video about, and you can actually use this tool to go through, through and see how often particular words and phrases appear in these books. Now, on its simplest level, that's pretty basic, but what's good about this is you can pick which years you want it from and you can compare things with each other. And you find some quite interesting results. So I'm going to start out with this example. Here we have the results for acoustic guitar, as you can see. I've typed that phrase in at the top, and I've actually narrowed the years down from 1940. It only goes up to 2008. The reason I didn't go any earlier than 1940 is there's just no results before that. I've checked it, but I narrowed it down for this presentation. So, as you can see, it picked up from 1965. Now, why that's interesting is because people have been playing acoustic guitars for a lot longer than since 1965. So the question comes up, why were they not mentioned in any books? And those of you who are perhaps um, a little bit more alert will work out that the reason is because we didn't have the phrase acoustic guitar before 1965 because all guitars, or at least most guitars, were acoustic. So let's look at the next result that I've done, which um, bears this out a little bit. So I compare acoustic guitar and electric guitar. And what we in fact find is that the term electric guitar pops up in the mid-30s, which is when the very early electric guitars were made. But there's no need for the word acoustic guitar because I'm guessing at this point, and you could do research and find out, that guitar means acoustic guitar and electric guitar means electric guitar. So there's not yet a need to differentiate between the two. Guitar has still just stuck to meaning acoustic guitar. But by here, when the electric guitar is getting mentioned a lot, then I guess you need a word that says to your listener, this is the type of guitar that I'm looking at. So you can do some quite interesting stuff to look at how the usage of words um, comes about. So if you'd said to somebody in 1945, for instance, oh, you know, I play acoustic guitar, uh, there's a pretty good chance they just stare at you because they would that was a phrase that wasn't in usage, or at least not in books. So... Here we go, and as you can see, this is guitar, and I've taken this all the way back to 1800, and it's in steady use. Although, unsurprisingly, it picked up in the 20th century, um, and actually about the same time as electric and acoustic. I guess it just became the dominant instrument in popular music, and as you can see, it's just taken off. Um, interestingly, there we go, 1957, a bit of a pickup, um, up through the late 60s. So, guitars have been talked about for a long time, acoustic and electric guitars less so. Here, let's have a look at some other interesting things. Nuclear weapons, for instance. You would think that given that um, the bomb was dropped on Hiroshima in 1945, that nuclear weapons would have been being talked about ever since then. But if you look back at 1945, you'll in fact see that nuclear weapons are barely mentioned. That's the blue one, which is so low that you can't even see it. And as you can probably tell from these other terms I've put in, the reason it isn't mentioned is because those weapons were in fact called atom bombs or atomic bombs, um, which is something I could probably put into here as well and get more results. And as you can see, atomic bomb was the most popular, and then came along the phrase hydrogen bomb. And it actually isn't until here in 1977 that the dominant term becomes nuclear weapon. And, nu and I think I've got nuclear bomb in here too, but that's, um, that's never the dominant term. That's always a minor term. So we can see how phrases that we would think about as being really common, like people have been talking about them for ages, are in fact not all that common at all. So that's where this is a really good tool, and you'll find it useful for when you're doing your assignment about words that have changed. Because what you'll sometimes see is one word, like maybe have a peak back here, and then another one here, but it's for a different meaning, because words come in and out of fashion. Uh, and here we go, here's just the straight one for nuclear bomb, but that's not adding much to what we said. So anyhow, that is Google Ngram Viewer. If you just Google the phrase Ngram, you'll find it, and you'll find that really useful for your assignment.